what has happened? Can you tell people what has happened with Russia, Ukraine? I know it's an overwhelming question, but basically a summary of what has happened and also a summary of what the media has said has happened. So it's a little confusing because uh, you have so that they went Putin obviously went into the to the Crimea um, back when Obama was president and essentially took it. So this is this is the um, you know the, the part of the world in, in, in the Black Sea where we had wars fought over in the 1800s, where Yalta is uh, sort of traditional Russian resort of the upper classes once upon a time um it has always been associated with with russia and then there are these two other regions um that are sort of predominantly ethnically russian uh linguistically russian and there's been fighting and discord in these areas for some time and we're talking about places like uh donetsk uh luhansk um and it it's a, it's a stretch of eastern ukraine that's sort of on the very edge of the country and the 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 bottom of it is at the sea of, of azov and uh it's been kind of uh in dispute for some time now because there's been fighting in these regions between separatists and ukrainian government and putin essentially just recognized these these two territories uh, and the United States has chosen to call that um, an invasion, and I, I don't think that's completely irrational. It's a little bit different than what they were saying was going to happen, and it's not clear that that's this is the end of the story either. Um, but uh, but so there's going to be some sanctions. They're they're pretty mild, I would have to say, all things considered. They're seizing some personal property. They're talking about going after Putin's assets, but they'll never be able to find it, you know, even the, large, the smallest part of it. Um, just to give you an example of how, how unserious the sanctions are in Britain, they're not sanctioning uh, Roman Abramovich, who's you know, one of the biggest oligarchs in, in Russia, but he owns the Chelsea football team and it would be kind of an inconvenience to sanction him. Okay. So they, they left him out. They sanctioned three people. And so, uh, so far there's no real, there's no real pushback. Now this has had a, a major impact on the, on, on the financial markets, which have plummeted a little bit uh, because the, I think there are fears that this is going to disrupt the energy markets in particular. Um, there's probably a lot of Euro Europeans who are unhappy because this is going to interrupt the the pipeline deal, um, you know, for cheap Russian energy into Germany. So it's interesting. Um, they've obviously screwed up completely how they've described it. I mean, I saw a Washington Post reporter uh, the other day, <laughs> Isabel uh, Kershudian, I think is her name, uh, who was saying... This, P this Putin speech has nothing to do with NATO. There's like whole sections of the speech that he gave right. that, that were about NATO. So um, they're, they're, try they're trying hard to stick to this line that it's this like crazy. Uh, and it is a little bit crazy. Uh, but it's like this this crazy uh, Lebensraum style. We must get to the sea and, and seize Kiev kind of a thing. So far, it's not that. It could be, but it's not that yet. Yeah. And how much do you think the way that the media was presenting reality shaped reality? Do you think this like had an impact on what Putin chose to do? Yeah, well, I, I think I think it's a mixture of how the media and the United States diplomatic establishment chose to handle it because uh, they they didn't really take seriously the idea of negotiating. I don't think. Um, I called this wrong. I didn't. I didn't think he was going to do anything at all um, because what I thought was going to happen in the end was he was going to make a whole bunch of aggressive maneuvers, and the the United States was going to quietly send a back channel message that okay, we're we're not going to try to bring Ukraine into NATO, and then he would back off, and really nothing would change. Um, right now, nothing's really going to change uh, unless. 
unless he goes into more territories. Um, but uh, I thought that's what was going to happen. So I got that wrong. Um, so, but no, they, they were very belligerent instead. Um, they, they fed these stories about how they had, he had already decided to, to invade. And the only options that were discussed were these military options. And um, I, I think that, you know, I think that's played right into Putin's hands. He's, he's probably taking some pleasure in the fact that the Europeans and the Americans are probably a little bit at cross purposes about what happened. Um, and, uh, you know, th right. if they had done what Obama did, which is just quietly say, yeah, we don't really care, you know, <laughs> and let, let, just to do what you do. I, I think, I think everybody would have been happier on the European side, but, um, but no, they, they went this other route. And I think it's a mistake to talk big if you're not going to do anything. It just made him look good, you know. So right. does that make sense? So it was just it made Putin. So it made Putin look good. You're saying, right? Because so, so they they spent however long talking about, oh my God, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. We have to do something. We have to do something. And if he does something, there's going to be consequences and blah blah blah. And then he just like gives a speech and walks into the you know enters these territories and uh, of course nothing happens uh, whereas it, what happened what obama did was much was much smarter like he he didn't risk any political ca capital on this at all he recognized up front that the united states was not going to commit troops was not going to get into a military battle over what an area of the country of the world that was much more important to putin than it is to us we have no strategic interest in this area at all um and you know the 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 history of this age, this region is very unsettled. So rather than do that, rather than just quietly say like, you know, we're gonna let this one go, or um, or the alternative was would be to go in there, you know, and actually put troops or something. You know, I, I don't think that would have been a good idea either. But what they did was the middle ground. Is they raised a ton of fuss and they said you know, they saber rattled a lot and then they just did nothing. 